Hello, Tanya Teche, Transformational Psychology Coaching. Back to our regularly scheduled deprogramming. I'm sorry, I'm a couple days late, actually. I have a share for you about an anxiety masterclass, um, ancestral anxiety masterclass. It's breaking curses of inherited trauma that you might not have even known you had. And so I'm gonna put the link in the description here. But one of the things we're gonna talk about on that masterclass is how uh, you can discover patterns that you didn't even know were running your show. I'll give you an example. One of my patterns was jumping into action to save the day and solve the problem. Um, jumping into action was a trauma response that you know I inherited from a lot of different situational things, but actually we'll talk about this more in the masterclass, the anxiety and um, overwhelm that you're dealing with is not, it's not something new. So one of the, one of the biggest, one of the, <laughs> one of the shit, one of the times I did this for an example, I had a, well, we'll call her a friend, quote unquote friend. Um, that wasn't really a friend. Um, she would, would call me and our other friends for when I tell you hours and hours and hours and hours on end, I mean, I would spend two hours on the phone with her easy and pick apart the man of the hour and how narcissistic he was and all these things. And I actually, I entertained it and I would go, you know, into my um, therapist mode and my, all my trainings, I would give it all away for free. I would help dissect it with her because I didn't value myself at all. Um, I didn't value what I brought to the table. I, I, um, and I wanted to save people. I wanted to solve problems. And I was a real big magnet for users. I actually used to love abusers. Um, so yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to talking about this. Okay. So for example, for, for, um, one time she called and she said she was moving across the country to chase, you know, the narcissist of the day du jour. And um, I just didn't have the language, didn't have the knowledge, didn't have the what I know now. And But the thing that got me was she was gonna drive in this little tin can of a car with her two like teenage sons. And I had lived in South Carolina before. I'd driven 12 hours before with, you know, little, little guys in the car. And it, it's a lot worse than it seems. It's a lot more challenging than it seems. And I was like, she can't, you know, I can't let her do that. I had to hop into action and save the day, you know? So uh, I helped her move across the country. Um, and in return, I got some, um, while well, she was dating, she finally landed this other guy, the artist. She finally landed him. And um, one of our other mutual friends was married to his friend. And it was a big secret. I don't know why, like that she's seeing the artist now. Um, but I said, you know, you should tell our mutual friend, you know, you're, we're like supposed to be all friends. What was, what was happening here was I was being triangulated. I was being put in the middle and, um, I didn't like it. I didn't know the word for it then, but I know the word for it now. So I, um, I stayed out of it, but I did, I did say, you know, you really should tell her. And so what we did was we were at, I'll just call it a party. We were at a party and she was there and she um, left her purse like hanging open with the hotel shampoo bottles from where these artists were staying. So that, you know, the message is I'm, I'm staying at this hotel. And she had a t-shirt on that was like only this artist could, could have and all these little connect the dot kind of things that um, let our third friend know something was up and she of course blamed it on me that our other friend was not intelligent enough to figure it out conveniently she had the scapegoat of me and guess what i was used to being the scapegoat because that's what my inherited trauma i'm not saying like throughout the generations i was used to being the scapegoat that was my thing that was my little that how that was how my nervous system was used to relating, um, jumping into action, trying to save the day, solving problems. And then, you know, 
kind of being framed. Yeah, being framed. Oh yeah, because it gets better. I'll show. You, I'll tell you something else. So it gets even better. Um, not only did she um, triangulate me with our third friend, but she triangulated me with the artist. She screenshotted things that I said in response to her incessant bitching and moaning and complaining and negativity, and she showed him that. She didn't. She of course did not show him it in context. All the fucking endless hours of her bitching. But listen. Here's, here's where I'm sharing this because I, where my power is, is that, and where your power is, is that you don't allow this. You catch it sooner. You see what, okay, I have a trauma response of, um, this pattern that I have of jumping into action, solving problems, helping people save the day. I want to save the day. I want to help them. And that's okay because, you know, I do this, this is my work. I love to help people, but <laughs> honking the horn, you don't just help anybody. You know, you are a target. Your trauma responses make you a target for trauma predators, what you call narcissists. Um, so I just wanna share that. That's like a little example. That's a, um, that is one of the things we cover is discovering in my masterclass coming up May 30th at 6 p.m. Thursday night, 6 p.m. Eastern time. One of the things we talk about is what are your patterns that you don't even know about um, that are running your life and cr creating drama, creating harm, um, straining relationships, wasting your time. Oh my good Lord. If I, I am not even kidding hours every single day every single day and I wasn't the only friend there were so many other friends I don't know how someone could be on the phone for five ten hours a day I mean that is amazing to me um just bitching just complaining um anyway so the master class gets into what is your pattern what is your what is one of something let's discover something that's running in you that when you upgrade it when you name it when you see it when you notice it and you stop doing it your life is going to get so much more better so much more pleasurable so much more happy so much more light so much more free no more drama and you know even like if you do lose a friend like I did a quote unquote friend it wasn't it wasn't a loss at all it was a win it was a score because I was being played I was being used and I was used to being used I was used to being used as you know a problem solver and I was used to being used. So of course I walked right into that one, but I'm much more aware now. And that's what I'm sharing on this masterclass, how you can be much more aware too. So the masterclass is called Ancestral Anxiety. These things really cause problems um, with anxiety, overwhelm, stress, depression, an ancestral anxiety, breaking inherited trauma. Uh, so, and you know what? We talk about self-love too and self-forgiveness too. This isn't like a, a thing to just beat you, beat ourselves up because we've done enough of that, okay? So I invite you to join the masterclass. I hope to see you there. And if you have any questions, shoot me a message and the link is in the description register and I'll see you then. Ciao, have a beautiful rest of your day.